Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can plan a route to navigate with on a detailed Ordnance Survey map for Great Britain to then send to your Garmin eTrex SE GPS device, which is our budget black and white GPS device but packed with many great features. What we're also going to show in this video that although the eTrex SE GPS device doesn't have a colour screen with maps on the screen, once you've actually sent your route to the unit and you select navigation, when it's paired with the Garmin Explore app on a mobile phone, you can use your GPS location from your actual GPS device to show where you are on the Garmin Explore map and actually see yourself navigating across the route on the GPS map on the actual Explore app on your phone. The idea of this is you wouldn't keep your phone on all the time with the map. We're trying to save battery, of course, on our phone. We don't want to use our battery when we're out and about. But what's nice is because it's using the GPS location of the eTrex SE unit that has a really big battery life, we're reducing how we use that battery on our phone. And just every now and then, you might just want to look on a map to see where you are, but using the GPS location from the actual device. Now with the eTrex SE unit, I'm just going to show you where that is first on our GPS store. So on the gpstraining.co.uk website, under GPS store and handheld GPS units, I can see the eTrex SE right at the top there. So I'm just going to click on that to open up the eTrex SE and there's lots of information on the unit, but you can see from the spec as I scroll down, a set of AA batteries, we've got 168 hours battery life. So this is the unit that we're talking about. So on our GPS training website, if you do want to plan on an Ordnance Survey map, we've actually got a free to use OS Planner. So I've actually clicked on the heading along the top, OS Planner, and you get an Ordnance Survey map for all of Great Britain. Now underneath this planner, if I scroll down the page, there will be videos that load that you can actually watch on how to use the planner. So if I scroll down, there's a video on planning a route, using the reverse tool, importing GPX files, transferring to Garmin units. We do mention that if you're comp copying it onto an eTrex SE, you can actually do it via the computer and just drop it into a folder on the eTrex SE called New Files. But I'm actually going to show you how you can just email yourself the GPX file and use the Garmin Explore app to send it to your device. The idea of this is you might not be using a computer, you might be using our free route planner on a tablet, which it will work on a tablet, or you're using a third party route planner such as Outdoor Active or the OS app, many others are available, and you're downloading the GPX file to your compatible mobile device, and then you're going to open up the GPX file, which is the name, the electronic name we give for the route that you create on the mapping software. You then open that in the Garmin Explore app to transfer to your eTrex SE device. But I just thought it'd be nice to show you a free to use Ordnance Survey Planner. So on our Ordnance Survey Planner, we've got a go-to box where you can type in a place name. So I'm just going to actually type in somewhere in the Lake District. Click on the Go button and it will come up with a list of names and you can get the map to zoom in on that place. I'm actually just going to put it back to Rothbury where we are by typing in Rothbury in the Go box. You can actually type in a postcode or a grid reference in here. So I'm just going to get the map back to Rothbury and I'm just going to plan a nice simple walk starting from where we're based at the moment at GPS training. So I'm just going to left click with my mouse to mark my first point that I want to mark on the map. And I'm just going to come along. There's a track that comes out of the industrial estate that we're actually in. So I'm just going to mark this and I'm going to come out the other side of the industrial estate. I've just put that in the wrong place. I'm just hitting the simple delete button. So we know that there's actually a path comes along here where you can see the black dashed line. So I'm just clicking on here to mark my point that I'm going to walk along. And I'm just going to come out the other side of the industrial estate, drag the map along and actually come onto the footpath at the end here. I'm just going to click some points on this footpath just to give you an idea of actually creating a route. 
So I'm just going to drag these points around. If I make a mistake, it's so easy to use if you make mistakes. Please watch the videos underneath our planner if you are going to use the planner. There's loads of detailed videos on using it and how you can edit and amend the route that you're doing. But hopefully I'm giving you an idea how simple it is to use when you're clicking a route. So I'm just literally clicking every time I can see a big turn in the path. And I'm just going to go along to the bridge at the end here called Popper Hoff. And that is my route created, 3.10 miles. It tells me at the top, actually gives it the distance in kilometres in the new route box. We've got the Naismith rule, gives me an idea of time. And all I'm going to do is where it says new route, I'm going to give the route a name. So I'm just going to simply call this Popperhoff Bridge, which is where I'm walking to. Scroll down to the bottom of this new route box and I've got the option download GPX. So if I've done this on a mobile device, this downloaded file is what I will be opening on the Garmin Explore app on the mobile device to then transfer the GPX file to my eTrex SE. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the emails on my computer and attach this file from my downloads to an email and then I'll open up on my phone which I'll come back to on the next video, the Explore app and I'll import that GPX file that I've emailed myself on the Explore app ready to send to my eTrex SE device. But remember, for more videos on using this planner and for a lot more detailed information, when you're on the GPS training website and you click on OS Planner, just scroll down past the planning map and you'll see all the various videos on actually using the planner. So please come back to the video and part two will show you the importing into the Explore app and then part three of the video will show you how we can navigate that route on the eTrex SE unit by also using the Explore Garmin app with a map on our mobile phone device. So I've now opened up the email that I attached the GPX file from that I sent from my computer after planning on the GPS training OS planner. And at the bottom of the email, I can see the GPX file. Depending on your phone, you'll have different options of where you save files to that you've got attached on an email. On my phone, I can either touch on the download arrow and that will go to me downloads. If I hold on the Google Drive icon, I get an option to save it to my Google Drive. As long as you know where you're saving it on your phone and then you open up the file from where you save it to actually open with the Garmin Explore app that you pair with the eTrex SE device. I'm actually just going to touch on the down arrow and that will download this attachment to my actual files folder. Now what I've actually done on my phone, I've actually got the files folder just on the desktop for ease of finding it. The Explore app you already need to have on your phone and paired with the eTrex SE. We have lots of videos on the online course that you get free from GPS training for a year if you purchased your device from us. You can from the gpstraining.co.uk website under the courses heading purchase our online training course where we have lots more videos on using this Explore app with the eTrex SE. So I've already got the Explore app paired with my eTrex SE. So what I need to do is go into the files on my phone to find the downloads and the GPX file that I've downloaded called Popperhoff Bridge. And when I select that file, I get the option open with. So I'm going to tell it what program I want to open it with. So I'm going to select Garmin Explore to open it up. It will then import that GPX file into Garmin Explore. It's actually called it um, Popperhoff Bridge and it's actually put it in a folder called Popperhoff Bridge. Now what I've actually done on the Explore app is created a folder to sync with my eTrex SE device that's actually called eTrex SE Sync. So where I can see this Popperhoff Bridge file that I've just imported, I'm actually just going to touch on the name and it tells me it's in a collection or a folder called Popperhoff Bridge. So I'm just going to touch on there and scroll down the list and put it into my eTrex SE Sync folder. This is something we do show on the full videos on the online training course where you can create a folder that you sync with your GPS device. So now it's in that folder. If I don't want it to be in the one called Popperhoff Bridge that it automatically created when I imported it, I can untick it from there 
and then just hit the back arrow to come right back out of the screen. So now I know it's in there, I've got my eTrex SE turned on. So I'm gonna to go to the icon at the bottom of the Explore app that looks like a GPS device. It's the fourth icon along, and that shows my eTrex SE connected at the top with a little green dot. So if I touch on my eTrex SE, where it's actually got sync settings, if I touch on sync settings, you can see you've got the choice of sync everything or sync selection. I've got sync selection selected, and that's where in the box below you can see I've actually picked this folder that I want to sync things with. So anything I import into the Explore app, as we've just done, I always make sure I then drop it in this eTrex SE sync folder. So it's syncing everything together in the one folder. So now, if I just hit the back arrow at the top left, I can see the eTrex SE um, where it's connected at the top. And it's, there's two red arrows to the right hand side. I'm just going to touch on those and you'll see it says sync in progress. And at the bottom, it told me it was syncing from the eTrex SE device. So that course will now be on my eTrex SE. So for the final part of this video, I'm going to show you my phone alongside the eTrex SE. I'll initially load the course on the eTrex SE to show you the navigation just as a black line on the monochrome screen but then i'll also use the explore app that i've got open here now with a map on the screen so we can see ourselves actually moving across the map on our phone as well as we navigate the course so now that we've used the explore app to sync this file across to my eTrex se with my eTrex se turned on i've actually got a satellite signal i can see the five bars in the top left of the screen. I'm going to go down to the saved menu and go into the saved menu and what I'm looking for we actually call it a course when it's been sent from the Explore app. So I go down to courses, select OK in courses and you can see right at the top the one called Popperhoff Bridge. The little black arrow is just telling me that's the direction of travel 81 feet to get onto the start of this course. If I select OK now, shows you an overview of it on the screen with the length. If I then press OK again on the top right, I get the option Go. Now what you'll see when I select Go, I've actually got the Explore app open alongside me with maps that I've downloaded as standard on the Explore app. Now what I've actually done is I've got my phone in aeroplane mode. I've turned off location access for the app, but I have got Bluetooth turned back on just to show that it's actually going to use the location from the GPS device and actually Bluetooth um, to show the course starting. So when I select OK here now, you can see on the screen of the phone, it's actually said start navigation. So I'm going to say yep to start the navigation. And you can see there now, I've actually got the pink line on the screen of the map and I can, I can swap this so it's north up or track up. It's telling me I haven't got location access turned on on the app. Now normally you would have that turned on. I just wanted to show the point that, so I'm just swipe back out of what I went into there, that was my fault. There we go, just swipe left to right, that was just because I tapped on the screen. What I wanted to show was that we've actually got the location been transmitted from the actual GPS device. So the blue triangle shown where I am now, if I move the map around, I can see the magenta line of that route that I drew out earlier to Popperhoff Bridge. Just put that back to where I am at the top there. And what I'm gonna do now is start tracking on the actual GPS device. So I would always recommend you start tracking and that's how we get the location transmitted as we move onto the app. So I'm now going to press the OK button again on the GPS device and where it says tracking controls at the top I'm going to select tracking controls and it has the word start so I'm going to press OK to start so that's actually started the tracking now and what's actually happened which I can see again on the app now we've actually got a Bluetooth icon appear in the blue triangle to show that the data is being transmitted via Bluetooth. That's my position now. So when I go outside, I'm inside at the minute without a strong signal. When I go outside and start moving with the eTrex SE, that blue triangle is gonna move across the screen 
and I'll see this pink line that I can use to navigate with and I'm just going to show you if I swipe up from the bottom of the screen I will get some information about my elevation, speed, time moving. The estimated time and arrival won't change until I start actually moving with the device. Now the idea is I'm not going to leave the phone on all the time otherwise I'm going to run the battery down on my phone but it means I can bring up the app at any time and see whereabouts I am on this route and actually see myself on a map. Um, I can pinch and zoom to zoom in and out on the map and of course move it around. It's the little triangle at the top right that I'm touching on to centre it back where I am. Normally if you've got location permissions which I'd recommend turned on you turned on you won't keep getting this message that I'm seeing on the screen. If I wasn't using the phone and I'm actually using the device itself which has this really big battery life I'm basically then going to be following the black line on the screen. I can use the down button to get the compass pointer which points me in direction of travel and shows my distance to the destination. I can get my trip computer up um, another pointer with information about um, how long it's going to take to do this walk and whilst I'm on the map, of course, as I turn with this unit outside, I'm the black triangle and I basically want to be following the black line on the screen. I can use the OK button when I'm on the map and go to the pan and zoom. And I can use the pan and zoom where I can then zoom in and out on the map. And I can use the, by using the OK button there, I can move the map around up and down and left and right. There's lots more videos on an online training course on the GPS training online courses that you get as part of your package if you bought your unit from us that cover using the eTrex SE in a lot more detail. But it's just showing you that as well as using the device with the black line on the screen to follow with this amazing battery life, at any time when you have got it paired with the Garmin Explore app, it's nice to know that you can use the Explore app as well and see the route in front of you as this pink line and see yourself moving across the screen and then what you'll see on the device if I actually stop the navigation and stop the tracking so I'm going to press the OK button here and I'm going to go down to stop navigation first so if I stop navigation you'll see that's now disappeared off the screen of the phone I've still got the location of where I am because I'm still doing the tracking so I can actually stop the tracking as well by going into tracking controls and I'll just pause that and then go down to discard just to stop me tracking. If you did want to save it, of course, you would save your track. But I hope you found this video useful on how you can use the two devices together with the phone and the app and the eTrex SE. But at any time you want to turn your phone off, obviously you can turn the phone off and use the SE standalone. But it was just a nice way to show there is a way to view yourself on a map directly from the Garmin eTrex SE device. Hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.